Sorry, Maggie. No, Dorian, my lawyer just made a few small changes. If it's okay with you, we can drop the final draft and we can sign it later on today. It's just, it, it, I really want to get this started. It's just that I'm really not going to be able to concentrate on this. I, I'm expecting a very important phone call. I'm sorry. I know I just barged in here. It's just that this is very important to me and a lot of people seem to want your warehouse. I understand. <laughs> there you go. Excuse me. Uh, hello? Oh, Mr. Atkins, thank God. All right, where has he taken Star? <laughs> Ah, good morning. It's a lovely morning, actually. Yes. Oh, out of the country? What do you mean you think? We can get them to tell you. Legal documents. Yeah. What idiot designed them to be too long for your letter files? <laughs> well, I'm buying some real estate from Dorian, and this particular piece of property seems to be very popular at the moment. Well, sounds like a pretty good deal. Better snap it up. What about the pilot yeah, sure. family? Surely they know where he went. Use your head, will you? Find out where she is or you're fired. Uh, no luck. Please. Todd has taken Star out of the country. It's the stupid detective can't tell me where. I thought you said Jessica said he'd be back today. And I'm supposed to believe that? He's just trying to get a head start. That's all. He's kidnapped her again. This really isn't a good time, is it? I'm sorry. Dorian, shall I just leave these papers for you? Please. And I'll get back to you. you. You won't change your mind and sell the warehouse to, to Max or Ian, right? Or to Asa, for that matter? The uh, warehouse. Uh, that's the one down by the docks, the one uh, Melador uses for storage. I've heard good things about that place. Oh, it's great. It's got huge space, oak floors, light coming in. I'm going to use it to start a performing arts center. Oh, Maggie, I'll be in touch with you. When did this uh, come about? Well, it was sudden. I had the inspiration and came to Dorian, and she wanted to sell. Did she? Um, yes. I hate to be rude, Maggie. Bye. But... Bye. Oh, and how do I should have covered I'm afraid there's some complications. She's uh, had a stroke. That's just one of the reasons why I'm upset right now. Sorry to hear that. Call me if you need anything. Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you. So, you forgot to tell me something. About the warehouse? Well, that takes care of the what. Let's go to work on the why. I agreed to sell the warehouse to Maggie because I was sick and tired of having to dodge Asa and everybody else who wants to make a hideous eyesore of a mall out of that beautiful riverfront. I know you had your heart set on moving into the place, but there are other lofts in other warehouses. How many pitched battles do we have to go through before you learn that you can't pull a Dorian on me? A what? A Dorian. That's where you use covert manipulation to get anything that you want. Why didn't you just tell me you sold it? Because it's my warehouse. To do with as I wish. Then why did you offer it to me at all? Because, 15 minutes after I arrived in Landview, you wanted me to move in with you. And when I refused, for perfectly good reasons, with all the charm I had, I might add, you decided you'd take control of the situation by dangling that loft in front of me, which uh, you never quite made available. It's interesting that the place was uh, uh, never available for any kind of a visit. And then, of course, there was the missing occupancy permit, and when those excuses ran out, you sold it to Maggie Carpenter. The prosecution rests. You know, it's um, really very difficult having you hurl accusations at me at a time when I'm really sick to death with worry about Star. Dorian again. Look, I know you're genuinely worried about Star. And about Blair, and Kelly, and, and Cassie. I mean, and you're upset about a loft? And I know that it's in your nature to create a maze when a straight path would do. But... When we've taken the obtuse route, things have gotten pretty feisty around here. Are you saying you want to move out? Did you want to go back to your hotel? Fine, I don't see any locks on these doors. Is that direct enough for you? All right, let's see. 
Now, I reassure you, things become comfortably intimate. We both agree that I should look for another place, which somehow never materializes, and then we go on as before. Is that the plan? Uh, I'm the one who's uh, being accused of manipulation, so why don't you come up with the plan this time? Okay, why don't you come right out and ask me if I want to live here? Do you want to live here? Absolutely not. Now, wasn't that easy? But why is the idea so offensive to you? Is it the house? I'll redecorate. Is it, is it me? No, no, it's me. I've told you, I'm a terrible roommate. Look what I can do with this place in 20 minutes when I'm on a roll. You hate that. I need to find a place of my own that I can do with as I see fit. It's the only way I know of to preserve whatever this is. You want to preserve it? Oh, damn it. Yes. Then there are a million different solutions. I can give you your own wing. Well, really, you can live in it like a junkyard dog if you want to. And I won't take a step in it unless I'm invited. <sighs> Anything to maintain control. Oh, Mel, for crying out loud. I knew five minutes after I met you <laughs> that you were a match for me. Why else do you think I want you so near? You know, when my daughter was about nine months old. She used to take all of her toys out of her crib and throw them out. And then howl until they were all safely back inside. I'm not howling. Mel, I'm using my reasonable voice. I came to land you to get away from a loving family who felt compelled to worry about me. I won't subject my life to your micromanagement. Oh, please. That's a dreadful image. Am I really so awful? You're beautiful. And you're intelligent. And you're exciting. And you're inventive. And you're challenging. And you're passionate. Do I have to get out my thesaurus? Don't placate me. Okay. Placate me. I swear to you, I won't ever try to control you. I might, every now and then, tweak some of your more negative characteristics, but in that regard, don't you think it would be handy to have somebody nearby to keep an eye on you? I didn't learn... Yes, you did. Where are you going? To work. <laughs>